My dear buddies, welcome back to Motorcycle University. This is a place where you learn about the internal components of your motorcycle and uh, in the next videos I'll even mention how to take care of them. So we have reached a long way. Now I don't know this is the seventh or eighth video in Motorcycle University and we are going to be talking about the clutch of a motorcycle how many times we heard about this that the clutch is worn out and you need to replace it clutch plates friction plates pressure plates what are all these things today we're going to be talking about them so this is how a clutch kit looks like Nathan could you please zoom in as always so this is known as a clutch kit a clutch basket and this houses the plates we've heard about this so many times right clutch plates clutch plates so motorcycles in general have a wet clutch wet clutch means oil actually uh, keeps circulating over them so it is known as a wet clutch generally cars have a dry clutch no oil circulates over a car clutch and car clutch is generally a single plate clutch not a multi-plate clutch motorcycle clutch is 99 percent of the times multi-plate clutch and the same engine oil of your motorcycle whichever oil you're using as engine oil is the same oil which uh, runs over the clutch plates all right so this is as i mentioned the clutch kit and uh, let me show what are the plates all right so we heard about this so many times and here we go Nathan can you see them yeah. good focus so these plates are known as the friction plates and these actually help transfer the power from the crankshaft from this from the crankshaft when this crankshaft moves up and down all right now what happens is that when you pull the clutch lever back it is known as clutch disengagement it means the plates which are inside here they kind of move away from each other very little so the power which is being transferred from the crankshaft doesn't actually uh, go all the way through the gearbox all right so as i mentioned that this piston goes up and down inside the cylinder and during the power stroke it produces torque a bang and that bang moves the connecting rod down and the connecting rod moves the crankshaft and the crankshaft transfers the power to the gearbox via the clutch okay so the clutch is very very important a motorcycle clutch also has another set of plates known as the pressure plates okay or the steel plates so all these together put inside this basket like you see here there is one this plate which is a friction plate and there is one steel plate one friction plate one steel plate one friction plate one steel plate so when all of these press together then the power from the crankshaft gets transferred to the gearbox now remember when you pull the clutch back it is known as disengagement of the clutch and when you leave the clutch lever it is known as engagement of the clutch disengagement means that the plates separate from each other a little bit so because there's a gap formed the power cannot be transferred to the gearbox and when you leave the clutch lever all the plates get you know tight to each other like this tight and the whole clutch system gets engaged and transfers the power from the crankshaft to the gearbox that is the reason it is said that never do half clutching half clutching means that you 
pull the lever back halfway neither fully disengaged nor fully engaged if you do that then these plates are neither fully separated or fully close to each other so they start to burn they start to rotate against each other and they start to burn so that is known as clutch burning now like this you know when they rub against each other it is known as clutch burning so in case you're doing wheelies using the clutch or you're doing burnouts or if you're in the fourth gear and you don't want to downshift to second gear when your motorcycle slows down and you are kind of pulling the clutch lever back and still moving forward then these plates start to burn out and even if you have a habit of simply resting your hand on the clutch lever and putting some pressure even at that point half clutching can happen and these plates get burn out okay a good clutch good means good quality clutch kit and a rider who is not doing half clutching or burnouts and all of that then the clutch kit can last for a very very long time in a car it can last for a hundred thousand kilometers or more on a motorcycle well-made motorcycle can last for 40 50 thousand kilometers or more so this is the information about the clutch plates so you have friction plates you have pressure plates and all of these are put inside the clutch kit the clutch basket so i hope you understood this buddies if you have any questions put them down in the comments and uh, well uh, you know let's discuss about some technical topics so do give this video a thumbs up if you gain some knowledge do subscribe to this channel thank you and do go back to my channel and watch more uh, previous videos of motorcycle university bye bye